you've just done your search and you've found and copy and pasted all those defined statements and you would have found that there's a couple that have doubled up there's a couple at the bottom we're not going to use at the moment that is it probe offset the auto grid auto level grid manual z home position but you've done that and unfortunately we've missed the main ones because on the manual if you go to page 203 h05 you'll you'll see the diagram of the spider assembly the frame push rod extruder and the carriage and you have to define the delta diagonal rod which is this one the delta smooth rod offset which is that distance from there to there i've rotated this to show you the extruder so this is the z and then you have got three which is the distance from center line of the hole to the hole there and then the carriage offset same thing that's covered in a different video so you just need to type in those four delta offsets and then we're ready to go now if you see that diagram to make it easier i actually have just drawn the diagram here with just a couple of dots for and just says that's a carriage that's a push rod that's that's how i say no i've got the defined statements down here and what what it actually does set additions of push rod bearings nozzles and all that so that's to, just to give me a idea of in the future if i have to change something or what it means but i have to refer back to a manual and it's all here in my calibration settings for me to uh, remember when i need to so we've done all that you set it up you've got the main one so it's the define manual z home position which is that distance from there to there that's important for the this is for the initial setup uh, initial calibration that's it and then we also need these deltas and all those four dimensions but that's secondary the actual steppers how many steps it takes for the motors to move up and down and to extrude and the problem is that the manual says one set of figures the actual config file has another set of figures and you want a third so there's three different figures that will confuse you so the idea of this is that we then just change it to simple rough figures to start with then we ignore the manual and we ignore what was in the original config file so what we do now is in no pad plus plus you've drawn all your pictures and labeled everything that you want as memory joggers and all that so what we'll do save it we'll do a file open and go to where you had stored your marlin software on that and where the adreno code is for the config hates that you uploaded to the, the mega so that's what you need to open do a file open then just come up file save a copy as and then just do config underscore original and then save that so that way if you stuff this stuff up, you've still got the original in a handy place and you just have to re rename it so then all you do there is in our original notepad file no original notepad plus plus file we have this define manual z home position so we just highlight it copy it come over to the config file third menu bar up uh, menu up the top it's got find search find so we just come up here and it's manual z home position find next now that will be listed somewhere in the various carding so what we're looking for is defined with a number behind it find next and here it is 452 now it says it's got original something or other and all this sort of stuff so we've got the position there get your steel rule this is a great one because the numbers also run horizontally and vertically so just put it up and eyeball it the best you can up in the home position you really should have it powered on all that but this is only the rough one to start with before we do the calibration and that's two 227 we'll say 227 so that's 452 manual z home position so we've done that we do file save we come down to our next one which is i'll move on to the these rods first then we'll get back to the steps so we just have to co copy the delta diagonal rod which is a long one Control c go back to the config Control v find next and there it is you've done these at the very start when you glued them together or done it with the, the nuts and bolts and other you know, pins and all that and it was 230 so we'll just do a check yours may be different you may have done a different way so i'll just say 230 yep so we just change that to 230 file save yep then the next one down is the smooth rod offset make sure that's up there tight this is the rough setup first so that's roughly 150 come back we change that to 150 save it delta offset is that one you can eyeball that i've measured them before go back there mine was 19.5 then you do the carriage there that's one that's in the design stage so when you design things you make it 15 25 even numbers so it was calculations are easy to do measurements are easy to do so mine that was there there 15 so i enter them in then i do file save and that's written in there 